and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less hit points, less equipment options, uh, less uh, soldier options and stronger enemies via ABA and ABC. That's a better advent and a better chosen of course. Today it's time for Operation Witch Shield and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, we do not have a lot of <coughs> talented soldiers left over. So Sandman uh, together with Sue Cougar and uh, Mike the Public Bravo. That's kind of part of the B team, C team, sort of. I, I think Sue Cougar was B team originally, but eventually has been dropped down to C, t uh, C team now. Mike is C team, Sandman is B team, but yeah. And Secundo is heavily injured and um, unfortunately we got to take a squaddy um, Grenadier with us and Hunk sort of is going to sub in because we don't have another uh, Ranger left which really is unfortunate it shows just how much damage we have taken on each of our soldiers I'm hoping that we will uh, get through that mission but this is one of the missions where we might take a few losses let's see and hopefully we can go through it without doing that Good, we are joining with High Alert. And it looks like a dark VIP mission. Do we have any support? Yes, we do. An elite demolitionist with a rocket launcher and an alien grenade. Since it is an alien rocket launcher and an alien grenade, we're very much going to use that. That is by no means limiting our our um, unique equipment limitation of the run I am trusting you good apparently nothing there so might as well charge up I'm careful not to move to here because that might trigger. 100% efficiency. Solid copy. Like the public, bravo. I think this should be fine. Location confirmed. On Overwatch. And we're close to a tower, which of course. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a second, that is the Chrysalid King. And something else. Wait a second, that is the Chrysal the infamous Chrysalid King. Nearby group will be alerted. 33 dodge for three turns. Uh, I'll think about it. For now we're good. Okay, so do we have enough time? I assume yes. So there's there's um, no chosen oh, that is bothering us. Taking high ground here and here. Let's my nicely move out. And I think it's a fair option to use scanning protocol just in case we were missing something. So apparently there is something back here. Looks like a Codex Prime and something else. A few more civilians in here, but nothing major. Okay, just gotta be mindful with that codex. Hacking in. 
And let's just do the hack right now. I think we had a 100% chance. Good. We got a bit of a bonus to dodge. That is fine. 33 for three rounds. Nothing incredibly overpowered, but in case we're taking shots, it's not bad either. Is it going to trigger? Okay, so far so good. Chrysalid certainly is the type of enemy the weapon. that deserves to be shredded. So I don't feel bad at all using our one claymore for that. <laughs> and it started to burn. Okay, I think overdrive is appropriate here. Fantastic. Does it react? No, it does not. Good. Okay, we do not yet have auto targeting with um, Victor here. But he's still hitting, that is great. Good job, you're pulling your weight. Ninety percent. Let's give it a nice little hit. Moving up to get that sweet, sweet proximity bonus, and that could be a kill. Fantastic. All right, sort of anticlimactical, but I am totally fine with that. You don't always need to have the biggest shootouts with a chrysalid. It's totally fine to just kill those buggers without, without them reacting. And there's the Codex Prime. Plus a mutant pyro. Clones itself right away. Pure, uh, the mutant comes in with a flank. And that's the moment where you are pondering your life choices, right? Moving back. And this here might as well be a flashbang that hits both. Flashback. Let's see if we can kill that prime without it reacting. Of course, it dodges. At least it does not. It does not uh, separate or spawn additional clones. Four to five points of damage, and the rock launcher is like what four to seven. Yeah, but we need the cover removal. Dead. 
down to one. Okay, that could be a kill with a protocol. Eleven points of damage with a strike. I think that is the best we can do. Of course, it dodges. Moving up, are we able to kill this guy? Six to seven, that's not enough. I hate to use another grenade, but I th think that's the safest bet. Good, we got some Hoover here. Can't even use Comet Protocol anymore. That's unfortunate. Cougar Overwatch is not very surprising. It tries to wreak havoc. Not sure why we weren't even shooting. The guy moved and we could have simply shot. See, that's one of these situations where I don't fully understand why that happened. I do get it, he went into cover, but yet again, we could have killed him. Okay, this should be a kill. Unfortunately not. I need a medic. <laughs> okay. I get it. I'm going. The Codex Prime wanted to be a bit of a dick here. Moving up. Heading to that location. Full cover. I think we're outside of the explosion. Pretty sure we are. Reloading. Overwatch. Demolitioner moves over. And overwatches as well. Good. I think we've killed both of the most exp uh, most dangerous targets. Zukuger took a bit of damage, but okay. I am at your 
service. We are nearing that additional pack of enemies right there. Back in. On the move. Moving up. Continuing to move, but only as far as it is sensible. They are likely going to move into our Overwatch trap. Which hopefully will kill them. Alright. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Changing position. They're coming around the flank. Well, so much for his cover. They found us. And so much for our cover. Concealment rather. could get them off of the roof at the same time that would come at the expense of essentially moving them kind of inside of that room and not being able to hit them anymore. Not exactly what I was hoping for, so I think it's a much better choice to just kill them. we go Sit. moving up and I think with combat protocol we should be able to almost get him down Despite his massive armor. Alright, if we're now destroying the ground that he's standing on, he will automatically die. At the same time, that's a perfect kill for Sandman. Moving up. And moving up. So far, everything's going Overwatch. relatively well, actually. Got eight more turns. Killed three packs already. Four, actually, to be precise. Moving over. We are known to them. I can smell the elders' dogs. Well, I think up here. Not sure why exactly we've been discovered. There might have been a civilian up there. And those guys are fantastic because they always appear at the exact right timing whenever you do not need them. So much for our scouting, by the way. A 
This here should remove all of the cover and deal some serious damage. Okay, so neither of that is true. It removed some of the cover, but it certainly did not deal serious damage. Let's hit the boa, come on. Fifty fifty. Fantastic, that's the problem with newbies. You unfortunately find yourself in a situation where you really can't do much other than shoot. Double move. Ending a teamwork ability over. Eighty percent. Wow. Those odds are not great. Yeah, trigger into free action. Okay, cool. Well, certainly going to overdrive. the last pack we will we will need the cover removal there same time I can't let someone be grabbed because that would mean almost certain death we're going to trigger another pack on top of it that's just not going to work Let's kill the elite assault. You know that was good. Reloading. I am reloading. Fairly well aware that we're going to be grabbed. It's our first boa that we're fighting. And this particular one decides to chicken out. Affirmative. We're triggering another pack, fair enough. Okay. I'm going. We're out of explosives. move here that would be a really aggressive move and we would be able to potentially kill this guy same time we would be highly exposed so I think we're going to go here only one comet protocol option okay
Let's use the smoke bomb up here. That will keep Secundus um, well intact. I don't think that we will be able to kill every single one of them this turn. Using our advent and offering that uh, this guy is as a potential target. Fifty-fifty against that elite trooper. Let's go. Nailed here. Fantastic, love it. All right, Mike starts to eventually move over here. Has a decent shooting position from there as well. Fifty against that skirmisher. I like it because we need to kill him. There we go. Eighty-three percent. I think we're taking the sixty percent kill risk. option. Wonderful, that was good. That was actually pretty damn impressive. Let's try to nail him. There we go, it worked. Wow, that was partially also a lucky turn. We hit all of the important shots. Just grinded him down. All right, reloading. And that's a fantastic setup. Mike moves up, and maybe we can just pistol kill this guy 50 50. X ray down. Whatever you say. Hank moves in. I got you. There's the dark VIP. We're moving up. Next turn, I think we're going to grab him. Can't really do that with the dem demolisher here. Let's take the loot. And superior speed is fantastic. Unfortunately, yet again, I have what you wanted. not an Alarium core, which I was secretly hoping that we would get. Moving up, subduing him. And we're going to run like there is no tomorrow. Carrying the unit and let's get out of here. Understood, 
Double time. Mike's going to run. I can already foresee reinforcements are going to join us soon. Therefore, we're taking some high ground and we're reloading. Secundus moves all the way over here, trying to get into range of the extraction zone. Alright, reinforcements are incoming. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Good Secundus could still reach the zone if they would be standing here. Trying to get the VIP out. Mike is rushing out as well. Hunk is already at the zone. And we don't need to wait for the demolitioner because he is essentially not needed. My life is in your hand. Sandman also can on move in one turn to the extraction zone. Okay, let's see if we can maybe kill one of those guys. An extern is just uh, boogieing out. Nice little hit. Fantastic. We got that extra kill. That lightened up my heart. Beat, beat. Sukuger moves out. Taking the VIP out. Sandman moves out. And our mech also moves out. There you go. There you go. There you go. My battle is over. I'm out of here. Airlift in progress. Whether or not this unit escapes really doesn't matter. Fantastic. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That went surprisingly well. We got the newbie team in and it still went quite well. Good. Are we going to get any promotions out of that one? Oh, yeah. You can bet they're still in the fight. Look at that. Corporal Viktor Ivanov. Got himself a nice little promotion there. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Superior speed, advanced scope, Hello, and a data pad. Commander. In terms of superior speed, hmm. Could someone like Zirkim use that? He had, has already superior agility. Superior precision. Conditioning is good. Superior precision as well. Toxic conditioning. Well, we got really good PCSs. I just realized that. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Superior speed can certainly be helpful. And improved bond is available. 
Might as well do that. And look here, bond training and bond training. Punk and Mike V. Public Bravo. Well, that's good. Good job. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just see that there was some negative traits? No. For a moment I thought I saw negative traits somewhere. Sorted loot is okay, but not really needed. I would instead continue making contact that will give us more income. What we're really needing is Alois and Delirium. You're not the only ones who can pull off a little sabotage. The chosen aren't afraid Fantastic. We got a plasma lance going. Slowing down our efforts. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Let's our use that inspiration here and then afterwards we're continuing. This is just some extra intel with a super fast research. The Elder's Hunter is after something in this area. 400 supplies and making contact would be 160 intel. Uh, we want live fire training. I like the idea of having sergeants if we need that. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. 96 intel is exactly what I was hoping for. And let's continue with the Andromedon. In terms of recruitment, since we don't have live fire training yet, let's still recruit maybe one or two soldiers stefan richter here name rings a bell i think it's one of our soldiers let's get a second one i'm trying to find one that is not randomly generated but someone from the character pool Hard to tell. What another... Ah, we got Dark Tower Noxus here. And Divad. Oh, and Roby. Well, all of uh, the ones from the character pool are down here. Let's try to find someone whom we haven't had yet. Lyra Krell. I don't, uh, I don't know the call signs. XQS6, I know him. I think Jabu Juanese, we never had that guy. So, welcome to the team, buddy. Fantastic. Good to have you on board. And our recruits are. Anders and a normal Stefan Richter. That doesn't make any sense. It seems to be a random guy. Do we have enough resources to be that wasteful? I think I can hire another rookie. Didn't know that all of uh, the real rookies are down here. Piero Aguar, we never had him either. I think Piero, uh, Pietro, you've just been added to the mix. So we got two new viewer characters that were eventually training. Andors and uh, Carabinado, I like it. And the no name is going to be dismissed. Just wasted 15 or 30 supplies there. I know. I know. Wasteful. The outcome of Good. We got can only the Andromedon Autopsy, the which gives us Proximity Mine. Fantastic item. And we're going to use well that soon. The original wearer has expired is remarkable. Must consult with Shin for further study into this We're definitely this going with the priest autopsy because sustenance fear is something that I wanted to have uh, for a very, like very long time. On us to both and Proximity mines cost 125 supplies. We can definitely buy that next uh, month. And that would also help us Hello, Commander. Um, with our explosion problems. We can remove even more cover with a proximity mine.
I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. Sustaining sphere, that is good. We can certainly use it. And we got chrysalid autopsy, trooper autopsy, gatekeeper autopsy. You know what? Let's just no use invest. battle scanners for now, real quick. Nothing wrong with those. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Good, there we go. Battle scanners. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage. Hellfire vests aren't bad either. So we're finally getting a, a few more toys. Together, we have succeeded. And look at that. Dodge has increased by nine, and we have located the stronghold. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Greater resolve. I think that was no, unfortunately, not the mental status effects. Well, lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. That's cool. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. We could recruit a new Templar. Promotion, promotion, dodge plus seven. That might not be too bad. That also is a possibility. Next level bond for Frodo and uh, Jessica might be a good step. That way we can upgrade them to bond level three and it only takes like what, five days. I think we're going to do that. No one's going to be wounded. Plus, they will immediately get the next level. Our order is clear and we will obey it. That means we have another mission before the month runs out. And look at that. Speaking about further missions, we got a very difficult uh, mission. Loyalty Monk Thieves, that's really not a big problem. Well, that one here, I think we would want to counter. Gatekeeper Prime. I think that's a pretty difficult um, enemy. Potentially the most difficult in the game. And we got a hidden event right here. Archon Prime. <laughs> well, and it does not only need to be uh, one Gatekeeper Prime, it might be a second one. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, we might use a flashbang just to get rid of him. Bond training complete. So we got level 2 bond on uh, some of the B team. Guys, who's available? So as for the B team, yeah, we got a pretty solid team available. Unfortunately, Secundus is still heavily injured, so that stinks. But eventually, if we were to flashbang that gatekeeper and on top of it, uh, give us um, give us smoke screen, then it should not have the possibility to hit us, at least not more than 10%. And I guess that's the gamble that you need to take. In terms of building new items, what else is new over here? Commander? The battle scanner, um, yeah, could be an okay item, but since we do have scanning protocol, it's really not that needed. We got still got the overdrive serum, which isn't bad. Proximity mine, I think, will be an excellent addition to what we're trying to do. Not for the prime team, because the prime team has a plasma grenade, which I still think is better than the 
proximity mine because it can immediately remove cover and that's typically what you want but the proximity um, and the second grenade for the prime team of course is going to be the frost grenade but the proximity mine itself is good otherwise so i really like the the mine itself sustenance sphere could be something that we uh, can give our soldiers we have plenty of priest corpses and this could kind of be a lifesaver. I've seen it with uh, Jaranx, our um, our ranger from two missions ago, where he almost got one shot from the elite um, Lancer, just because they do have upgraded bayonets by now and are just dealing a lot of damage overall. So that would potentially be a really good idea. Let's just quickly finish the scan here good so all we need to do is make contact and yeah of course we're going to go through the co covert ops mission in terms of supplies what we haven't yet built is a defense matrix i think that's an oversight as well so the next time we get income I'll definitely build a defense matrix. Yeah, and from an autopsy perspective, we're almost through. The biggest shortcut that we uh, have at the moment is the lack of cores. Can really use a couple more of those. If we had one more, or if we had a few more. I think we would go for blue screen pro protocol first because that would give us EMP bombs which I think we will need and then I would potentially go for experimental heavy weapons a few and a war suit but that comes later maybe even a few wrath suits because they are actually quite good as well so those uh, would come a little bit later. Eventually also more ammunition because I still want tail and rounds for our prime team. And maybe one or two more armors because they are actually also quite good in this particular run just to kind of survive that instant amount of damage. So yeah, those would be the items that I fancy uh, to build in the future one last thing before we end today's mission is there anything that we could upgrade phantom on him yeah not necessarily i could see hail of bullets as a hundred percent hit not sure if it really works with a bolt caster though uses a lot of ammunition means it actually doesn't work with the bolt caster that one on the other hand could be helpful because uh, having the ability to, to just hit whenever it's needed like that 100% hit I think that's quite well, uh, valuable so might as well spend our, t uh, our money there good that's the end of today's episode guys uh, if you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in two days. Bye bye.